Thank you, Chairman Haig. I appreciate that. Um, Ms. Gresler, let me ask you a question. Uh, true or false, we currently are bringing in about 19.6% of GDP in terms of revenues into the Treasury right now. Correct. So, for, so this idea that somehow that the tax problem is the problem is completely absurd, correct? Yes, historical levels of revenue are actually lower, two percentage points lower than we're bringing in now. And right now we are at levels that are basically only, have only been matched two other times in history, World War II and in 2000, right after the dot-com explosion, correct? Correct. In other words, it is a complete lie to say that tax policy is causing the problem that we have with respect to deficit spending right now. Rather, it is a spending problem. True? Correct. Taxes are significantly higher. It's the problem that spending is about five percentage points higher than GDP than typical, 25% versus a little over 20%. Correct. And the reason we're having the hearing we're having today is because we have an explosion of the federal bureaucracy, a bureaucracy that is at odds with the well-being of the American people by empowering bureaucrats to go after them. For example, uh, putting a man in prison for building ponds on his ranch in a state in West Texas. Uh, is that not, I mean, in, I'm sorry, in the Western United States. Is that not right, uh, Ms. Ignostin? Yes, I think the problem is when the size of government gets bigger and we're talking about American exceptionalism, that has been because typically America's taken less from individuals and businesses. Right. And Ms. Ignatzen, is that correct about uh, what's happened to this uh, man who lost, uh, went to jail because of what happened out, uh, out there with the EPA? I'm not familiar with that. Right. Um, sorry. Yes. Oh, to... That's correct, Mr. Rory. Right. Um, okay. And so we've got uh, uh, the uh, secretary, Yellen, calling president budget, uh, president's budget a fiscally responsible proposal and said Republicans want to focus on cutting spending. Yes, yes, guilty, guilty. We'd like to cut spending. Year one, our bill would cut the deficit in year one by over a trillion dollars. Yet President Biden's budget would increase spending next year by $500 billion to $6.8 trillion and increase the deficit by $300 billion. Ten years, our bill would cut the deficit by $4.8 trillion. The, president, the president's budget reduces the deficit by hiking taxes by $4.7 trillion, causing out-year uh, uh, decreases in spending through taxes. Uh, Yellen says our spending reforms are draconian. We are simply cutting top-line discretionary spendings to 2022 levels. And if we do that, we can keep our non-defense discretionary at the same level as that MAGA extremist Barack Obama proposed for FY24 in his final budget literally the same as that MAGA extremist, Barack Obama. You know that draconian pre-COVID bureaucracy, that pillar of efficiency and effectiveness of bureaucracy before COVID, if we return the spending to that, that somehow is gonna leave the American people without the ability to function. Completely and patently absurd. Leveling charges of cuts against VA is a page out of the Democratic playbook we've all seen far too well, where they wanna scare the American people say that somehow these great experts in Washington, if they don't come to their defense, that they are gonna starve on the streets. But the fact of the matter is, the American people prosper best when the federal government's woke bureaucracy, weaponized bureaucracy, wasteful bureaucracy, gets the hell out of the way of the American people. What I would say is that the most egregious problem with my uh, colleagues on the other side of the aisle is that they say that our plan will hurt the poor and minorities. But is it not true that we repeal Biden's $80 billion IRS expansion, the IRS, which, which the New York Times reported. I would ask uh, Mr. Duda Gupta, do you not agree that the New York Times reported that black taxpayers are at least three times as likely to be audited by the Internal Revenue Service as other taxpayers? Do you know that the New York Times reported that, yes or no? Yeah, absolutely. Right. And more IRS resources would let them redirect their the focus CBS, to the bigger tax gap and that from CBS S corporations and partnerships. Yeah, I'm reclaiming my time that CBS the IRS audits the poor at five times the rate of everyone else as the analysis finds. The fact of the matter is, it's absurd the attacks on our responsible effort that the president is ignoring. The rich, Biden claims that we want to cut spending so we can, quote, cut taxes for the rich. But is it not true, Mr. Abel, that 78% of the electric vehicle tax credits that claimed by the filers making $100,000 or more per year, and we repeal that, a tax for the rich, true? Uh, yes, Representative Roy. Uh, the problem with uh, the, the subsidies is that they go to people who already own two or three uh, vehicles, and they want another one because it's fast. And that 90% of the green energy tax subsidies, which we repeal, go to corporations that make over a billion dollars per year, not to mention Chinese companies, true? I believe that's true, yes. Right. This is the truth. The American people know it. Our Democratic colleagues passed the biggest giveaway to the rich that we've seen in years last August in the so-called Inflation Reduction Act. 
They are the party for wealthy corporations and elites. We are the party for hardworking Americans. We're trying to get the government out of the way to improve their lives. And that's what we're going to do despite Biden's resistance.